do all right. <laughs> Back again. What's this now? Am I here? My second, my third video, something like that. I don't know what that. What I do know is that in my last video, you may have seen it. It's a it's YouTube down me. I only got like eight million views on it, but I I know I know I'm super crazy awesome and there. Yeah, it's probably just messed up. I don't know. I know it. It messes up when it's locked down. Yeah, it's up to I don't know. As I said before, I'm no technical genius. I'm no genius at all. I mean, I'm awesome, but that's about it. But what I do know, as I said before, before I uh, crudely interrupted myself, was that in my last video, I said that the game wasn't much of a challenge, and I stand by that. I mean, just too goddamn awesome. I mean, this is what I, look at that guy. Blowing me and then he stabs me. I guess I didn't pay him enough street money. Yeah, I know something about the street money. That's a story I could tell some other time, though. I'm filled with crazy stories, but that's one for another time. What I'm talking about now is the plight of the awesome player. The plight of the player like me. See, we get a new game and we're like, wow, there should be a challenge where I'm ready for some competitive gameplay where I'm, you know, Always on my toes, but then I get in and we're just like right, right shooting from a retarded fish in a barrel full of monkeys. Like, look at that guy. That guy didn't know what the fuck was going on. I mean, I've been killed a couple times, but it ain't my fault. It's all the, the communists' fault. Yeah, the communists. Damn communists. But uh, yeah, so I figured I may try and, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Goober that guy, this problem here. Uh, Correct this problem by searching for horrible, horrible class setups that I could use to, uh, I guess, try to make the game a little more hard. I mean, it's still easy, don't get me wrong, but I think I found something that sort of works if you're an awesome player like me. And don't be insulted if you're not, a, don't feel bad if you're not as good as me. Not many people are, I'd say, I may be the best player of all time, but... That don't have nothing to do with nothing. And look at that bastard killing me. Trying to ruin my point. Some bitch, I kill his ass. Probably will. I killed everybody's ass. But, uh, yeah. Basically, I, this is a shotgun. I don't know what it's called. It's called, like, the, uh, the Spaz, something like that. The Spaz 12. And god damn it, it is motherfucking awful. I mean, first off, what kind of goddamn shotgun takes two bullets to kill? You better aim like a shotgun, boy. It is strong. I mean, I don't say that about a lot of guns. Like, you pick up a silk machine gun, that thing ain't gonna do shit to nobody, but you pick up a shotgun, you're gonna feel that motherfucker popping pop back. You're gonna know, like, I shot watermelons back down in Kansas. I ain't from Kansas, but... I, I was in Kansas shooting wall watermelons for some reason, and, well, yeah, that thing, one bullet from, like, 20 meters away with a shotgun, it put them down in, like, what was it, a half a set, it was, it was watermelon brains everywhere, like, if that watermelon was a person, I'd be sued, but, yeah. Basically, you don't want to be a watermelon when Schmidt is in town. But, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. What I mean to say is, this gun's awful. You saw me a while back when I, you know, I flanked that guy. It took two shots to kill him, right? And I was like five meters away. It was, it was ridiculous. Ridiculous, Nicholas. You know what I mean? It was, it was crazy, but... It, it... Uh, that, that's not the only thing about it either, right? Because I, I, I was playing around with it some more, you know, trying out all the attachments. And even with the crib home, that thing kicks like a spastic mule. I think that's, I think that's why they call it the spaz, you know? It kicks like a goddamn spastic mule. It's like, I try to shoot that thing, all of a sudden I'm looking up at the sky. Look at that. Look at that. It goes, well, And like, shotguns. In my 
limited altogether understanding. I am awesome, but I don't know a lot about, you know, shotguns, even though I do. I'm confusing myself. It don't matter. I'm awesome. That's all you need to know. Well, yeah, all of a sudden I'm looking up at the sky and I'm like, damn boy. But uh, all that aside, all those agonizing, look at me, let me dropping the word bombs. I, I heard, I, I know, I said I was bad at the vocab, so I've been, I've been working on it recently, and, well, I've come up with a, a couple of words to describe this. Word one, agonizing. Word two, as you heard before, spastic. Word three, yeah, well, I don't got another word three, what do I say, um, indifferent. Yeah. This one's in indifferent range, shotgun. But, yeah, despite all these horrible indifferences, I did manage to get a reasonably good game. I would it was goddamn awesome. I'm sorry, my, my thing got out there for a second. Nothing I can't fix with my goddamn awesomeness, though. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and you know what? I think it is possible that I have come out with as a better player from this experience. I mean, I've learned the maps a bit better using my shotgun, and it was an enjoyable experience being almost not the greatest player of all time for a couple of seconds, you know what I mean? And so, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe, maybe I, I may make a pact with Yo, right now, if you're watching this video, I'm gonna make a pack to use a different gun in every video I post on this game. I mean, I'm gonna post a lot, so I may have to go back over. But for the most part, you know, you're never gonna see the same gun from me twice. So, um, how long's left in this? Not too long. I'm gonna wrap it up by saying I'm a changed man for my what you might call it, my spaz experience, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. See you soon with what will likely be a brand new gun. Bye-bye.